I don't know. I think a lot of people actually have negative experiences with therapy their first time in. I think so. Right? I, I mean, you've I probably seen did. that, right? I have. No, and I it's, have. Yeah, it's like, kind of just close. like, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like, I bet the first day after, you know, you went to the gym, I bet that sucks too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? And it's yeah. like, it's Not gonna suck in the beginning, yeah. which is like a hard thing to tell people. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't want it, like you want to tell somebody it's not, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like you want to tell everybody, no, nah, it's like, it, mm -hmm. it's cool. It, get, it, it always gets better. And it's like, ah, I don't know. Uh, there is an adaptive thing about leading into that struggle and mm -hmm. at least like going through that and being like, okay, I know what doesn't work for me. Swinging. You're you're good. You're good. That thing's just been hilarious. Like it's it's yeah. just done like five like yeah. swing sets. I'm like it's an allegory for my basic state of mind. Because <laughs> swinging. <laughs> oh, he's almost gonna fall. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, but we working. We working. Mm -hmm. You know. Do you think making that rule of you have to, though, didn't work well across the board? Because there's things that you can find positive in it mm -hmm. and things that it's it's kind of like you should have created space for me to negotiate if I wanted this or why I needed this. Any like even, even if rule, even yeah. if I didn't see the value now, yeah. there was never a discussion. Yeah. And so, you know, like, I don't know, things about like like music if you can like when where and when you can build in choice mm -hmm. you should always do that yeah. like i i'm not gonna i can wax poetic about like my thesis for forever but I actually mm -hmm. i wrote my thesis on what happens when i promote student voice which is really just ownership of their own community mm -hmm. right it looks like letting kids how you know not just letting them but like helping them design their own assessments mm -hmm. their own learning objectives like yeah. how will i prove what i've learned right i don't want to take a test great mm -hmm. yeah i have these three options oh you don't like any of those okay now you have to come up with another one with mm -hmm. me but just the more and more you can build in choice the more you can actually develop how people develop like intrinsic motivation yeah and you kind of i don't know what i was as i was doing this and like kind of what led me into therapy too like what feels like productive therapy where like I feel engaged I feel like it's engaging me and I feel like I'm doing work that I see benefits of mm -hmm. is when I was like oh wait a second wait a second wait a second I can talk about this all theoretically and for other people mm -hmm. and study all this and like what if I did this for myself what is building in choice for myself look like and you need resources right you need people yeah. Like, like when you're like, oh wait, you actually don't have to do this. Mm -hmm. You can do this, and right, if it's an unknown unknown, mm -hmm. somebody's got to show you the door, right? Yeah. So even just like talking to people who know about the system better can can really be an effective way in. But even like when I was like, oh wait, there are different kinds of therapy. Mm -hmm. I fucking hate cognitive behavioral therapy yeah and i'll use it as like a linguistic challenge to talk circles around my therapist mm -hmm. at any opportunity that i'm presented with mm -hmm. right like so all of a sudden it becomes so like a, i make it a versus thing mm -hmm. and like we'll pretend that i'm not doing that and mm -hmm. then be like this is like this idiot like <laughs> and even even internally when i'm like mm -hmm. even the whole idea of like cognitive behavioral therapy where it's like it's obviously really focused on like challenging thoughts mm -hmm. i'm like listen i know there's no rational basis for this thought that i have mm -hmm. and i can scream into the void this yeah. challenging thought all i want mm -hmm. and i can recognize that that's the healthier thing to do mm -hmm. and it doesn't help me yeah and just like part of it's knowing yourself so even like start yeah and like very much having earlier been involved in like cognitive behavioral therapy and then being like, oh wait, mm -hmm. there's different kinds of therapy. Mm -hmm. So like these, I don't know, I think a lot of people actually have negative experiences with therapy their first time in. I think so. Right? I, I mean, you've I probably seen did. that, right? I have. No, and I it's, have. Yeah, it's like kind of just close. like, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like, I bet the first day after, you know, you went to the gym, I bet that sucks too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? And it's yeah. like, it's Not gonna suck question. in the beginning, which yeah. is like a hard thing to tell people. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't want it, like you want to tell somebody it's not, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like you want to tell somebody, no, it's like, it, mm -hmm. it's cool, it, get, it, it always gets better. And it's like, 
I don't know. Uh, there is an adaptive thing about leading into that struggle and at mm -hmm. least like going through that and being like, okay, I know what doesn't work for me. And yeah. even if you are not at that point where you're like, well, okay, I do know what works. Like I found out for me, like dialectic behavioral therapy, like DBT, mm -hmm. much more suited. I'll be a lot less like, uh, yeah, it's all about like holding the same idea, mm -hmm. two or two contrasting ideas in the same hand, rather than having one idea beat another. Like it's mm -hmm. because the framework of CBT, at least the way I experienced it, was like CBT. almost yeah CBT. Like uh, was like a, find it. oh cognitive behavioral therapy. Yeah, I, I knew that. Just yeah, for yeah, that, for the, we gotta yeah, gotcha, yeah we guys. gotta yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah like the the framework of that was so much more. Mm -hmm. There was like a there's a inherent versus framework in the type of therapy it is, right? It's all about challenging ideas. And so that wasn't gonna work for me. It works for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I needed somebody that was like, all right, we don't have to have these black or white answers. Yeah. We have to hold that together. And these ostensibly like contrasting ideas, there's room for these to be true. Ex like how do, how do you accept these two potentially clashing truths mm -hmm. and that hold it yeah and then move on yeah and then i like i don't even know the, all the other kinds of therapy oh, no no like, no you're good you're good you're i remember good. looking up the list educate, once man. and i was trying I to get just, one of my kids in i know you yo, know but like if you look up the list you will be lost yeah i was like this is crazy yeah right like yeah and even that but there could be somebody. like choice paradox too but just if having somebody, somebody who like is walking you through <clears> it <throat> and mm -hmm. also i think having somebody to like talk about you not even talk about the content of like a therapy session but i yeah. i know a lot of people that go to three therapy sessions mm -hmm. in a month or like just like total and then mm -hmm. they're like it's not for me yeah i'm done yeah and you're like okay you tried yeah and that's good like maybe it was the same experience that i was having where it's like oh that wasn't the type of therapy that was yeah gonna f work for you yeah that was never gonna be my vibe right yeah so i don't know that's another pathway in and even having people to like talk about it with who aren't the therapist mm -hmm. i think helps too where you don't have to like whatever go spill yourself but like mm -hmm. Oh, like, how did it go? Uh, I don't really... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I know I talked. <laughs> I know I, know I had a chat. Like it, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, the way... Yeah. I, if, if I got to feel like this every time I go, yeah. I don't know. It was gonna, awkward. Gonna back, <laughs> yeah, and that person is supposed to keep all that to themselves. Yo, Ooh, right? Yeah. So you got to find, like... I don't know. And sometimes it means it sucks for a while yeah how long what was the longest period of damn this sucks for you mm. good question <laughs> <laughs> probably like six months but i also mm -hmm. as a self-protective avoidance method like mm -hmm. i was just like i knew i was phoning it in yeah but i was also like well as long as i do this i can pretend like i'm healthy mm -hmm. and like looking back now and yeah. i think i do think there was a part of me that like knew i was doing that at the time too are you a risky personality yeah impulsive is another word for it mm -hmm. um i don't know i always kind of always kind of have been like a mm -hmm. like shoot first Ask questions later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm not just talking about like I'm not just talking about like interpersonal conflict. I yeah. know that's how the, the how the phrase like yeah. frames it, but like yeah. I'm like I'm much more of like a send it mm -hmm. like I don't know. Yeah. Send it person. Well, what did you guys expect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, probably about six months mm -hmm. of like I think I do, and it's hard because I can't put myself back in those exact shoes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think I knew I was phoning it in. I think I knew I wasn't really engaging authentically. Mm -hmm. I also think it wasn't the kind of space and the kind of therapist where I could have engaged authentically and actually got something that felt really mm -hmm. like adaptive and useful to me. Yeah. Like coming out of it. Um, and so I think also I was like, cool, well, all this, all this other stuff I'm doing right now, like, 
at least I'm in therapy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> right? I'm it's, like this, it's like this desperate, like, yeah. self-reassuring, like, no, mm-hmm. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah. Like, as if I could just tell myself that yeah. enough times and then have it, like, be true. Yeah. And then you realize like, the more you yell it, the more you're forcing it. It's yeah. Actually, the more you're not fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, six months for phoning it in and not getting anything useful. Oh, mm. CBT also, cognitive mm. behavioral therapy. What uh, broke the ice for you where you're like, oh, this isn't going to work. I'm going in the wrong direction quickly. Uh, it was kind of just uh, like time. Like mm-hmm. I like changed spots. Mm-hmm. And because I changed spots, didn't see that therapist anymore. Yeah. I'm not, I know I can't really do like the whole virtual therapy something too. I need someone. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you I don't trust these companies need, out need, there with my person. video data. Yo, I don't know where that's going. When they, uh, for real though, I don't know. about better help in a couple of these other Yo. companies and how like they are not protecting people's personal information, personal private information or anything else. I've always wondered when it came to the virtual side of things. Is HIPAA involved or is this just an app that you're well, trusting? There is all this stuff that HIPAA can't even really account for yet where it's like, mm-hmm. okay, what if we have an AI mm-hmm. extract the conceptual foundations of this, mm-hmm. depersonalize it, mm-hmm. toss it in a data set yeah. with thousands of other people's depersonalized data. Because there's like, no language. Well, it's still going data. in there, yeah. right? Just because it's not a video and it's not a recording of your voice. It's mm-hmm. like there, there's not even legislation that even exists in HIPAA to account Mm-hmm. for that yet so i'm just like HIPAA, all right hipaa is rarely updated yeah and it needs to be yeah pretty like now especially yeah. but the people who want to update the hipaa laws they're not even updating the right things no, or they're not even prepared. they laws that are made now aren't made with the concern of the patient it's made with the concern of how do we protect these companies yeah yeah. And that's that's dark, but it's like not us reality. So also like knowing all those reservations mm-hmm. that I have, right? Yeah. And like yeah, I don't trust the government. <laughs> right? yeah. I don't trust companies, mm-hmm. like because they let us down too. Yeah, many times. right. Well, like, you practice letting me down. You're, you're letting right. me know who you are. We're right. we're here now. So yeah. even like that, and being like, okay, well, well what are my reservations going in? Mm-hmm. Right? It's got to be in person. Yeah. It's got to be in person. Mm-hmm. Figuring out. Okay, honestly, there's aspects like I can't have to explain parts of my identity because mm-hmm. then I'm almost like trying to like justify it and then spending so much emotional energy on that and like feeling dealing with the feelings of not being understood that I'm like, guess what? I spent all my fucking therapy points explaining mm-hmm. to you who I am, so yeah. I can't even get into what I've experienced yeah, we did. and yeah, how we I want to change. Done. Yeah. Right? So Okay, I, I gotta be in person. I gotta have a therapist with whom I don't have to explain mm-hmm. s- the really important parts of my identity. And that can be, maybe it means a therapist is still has different aspects of their identity, mm-hmm. right? Often it means you share that part. But yeah. it, it's not a requirement, yeah. right? Like doesn't have to be, I don't know, I've had therapists that I was like, wow, we are different in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. And like, I also don't feel that burden of explaining these things that I wish you just. 